uh, she is my boy. We've been talking about doing stuff forever. And uh, the opportunity came when he, he told me about when that happens and immediately I jumped on it. Um, I've not had a good partnership in the industry so far since I joined and uh, where better to start than uh, partnering with Shay. So he gave me an opportunity to jump on this and uh, hey, I took it with her arms wide right open. Um, filmmaking in Nigeria is probably the most interesting thing you will do as a filmmaker because uh, the rule of thumb that says everything that can go wrong will go wrong, you will experience it in Nigeria. This is the best jungle to learn how to make film. If you want to make film, and go through everything and then come out as a seasoned filmmaker. Now, uh, in Nigeria, first of all, we don't have full power, so you have to make your own power available. If you depend on Nepal, you're going to go very, very wrong because you're going to find yourself cutting in between scenes to start afresh, to put on the jet. Patience is going to kill you. But the thing about making films in Nigeria is that you come out a stronger, wiser producer, wiser director. Uh, and uh, traffic alone, moving from moving companies, is probably going to break your back. But if you can find your way around it, trust me, you can go anywhere and succeed. If you make good films in Nigeria, you will succeed anywhere. And also, filmmaking in Nigeria has taken a totally different dynamic. Uh, back in the day, we used to hear about where people would put a whole script, a whole movie, everything in one week to ten days, and then release it within the same time. But right now, people are doing the real things that need to be done, processes are being done, due process. Pre-production, production and post-production is being done very well in Nigeria. So I think that because we're putting in the work right now, we're going to be really recognized. We're recognized as being the third largest film industry. But right now, we're going to be recognized for quality and due process. Uh, I think the acting pool in Nigeria has grown in the last 20 years, but I think a lot of work still needs to be done. There's loads of talent out there, but they're still raw and they haven't been found. I think that um, we need to go out there and find people because people that can actually be called actors that you can put anywhere in the world and they will stand alongside other actors. They are available, but they just have to be found. The people who have made themselves available to act, sadly, are not all the best actors, but they just have the guts to come in front of a camera and deliver something. But I think the like the saying goes, the beautiful ones are not yet born. Like the greatest ones haven't been found just yet. But I see it growing because I've seen like uh, other movies come out of Nigeria, and I've seen like a great amount of talent, and some that are not so great trying to be great. So I think given another five years, like it's going to be a boom. It's going to really blow up because people are going to now start seeing that real good work is being put out there, and they're going to put their best foot forward and come out and do this. I believe that uh, in film, when you stay within a network, you succeed. Uh, trying to go with com uh, the, com the competition way is not going to work for anybody. If you collaborate, you do better jobs. Like Shea and I are going to work again, definitely. Like in, in Hollywood, for instance, all of them know each other and they help each other. They work within themselves. The studios might compete, but the real, the people that are involved know that you have to give and take. You are not an island. You cannot survive alone. If you are going to make a film alone in Nigeria, for instance, the amount of money you pay renting equipment, first of all, can be your whole movie's budget. But if you have somebody who has something, and then you have this, and you guys come together, you guys make a great movie, your IMDb credits increase as two great guys, and then you guys can cut down costs, which is actually the major issue of production cost. If you can save money and put out a good product, I think collaboration should be more, uh, should, be, should be encouraged for that. Hi, my name is Ketum Musa Adwak, uh, and uh, When Love Happens is coming to a cinema right next to you. Make sure you watch it. Support. Buy a ticket. Buy for your family. My name is Ketum Musa Adwak, and I'm an associate producer on When Love Happens. So, this is when I say action.